Hi uh, YouTube, this is Meet the Gamer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. And I'm going to be talking about the new move by Midnight Channel, uh, The Happening. So I'm going to have some spoilers in here if you really want to waste the money yourself and don't find out a damn thing. Pause right now, okay? Go ahead, hit back. Alright, for the people who have stayed tuned on to me right now, I just want to say, what happened to you, Midnight? Really, what happened? You started off doing these cool movies, you know, The Sign, The Sixth Sense, and then Lady in the Water. As soon as I saw that movie, I should have stopped watching your movies right then and there. But seeing the previews for The Happening, I was like, maybe this is a scary movie. This, this could be worth some money. So I went today, dollar fifty, you know, have a dollar night. And it wasn't worth a dollar fifty. Not, not even a cent. It was horrible. I'm sitting down, you know, ready to take on the mysterious depths of Midnight's mind, but instead I get a big old rant and rave about global warming. I mean, as soon as the movie started in a park, Central Park, I, I should have known. This movie's about global warming. He wants to go green, and I don't blame him. I'm green too. I drive the Honda Civic, you know, low emission vehicle, that, that kind of cool stuff. I, I'm very green. But you don't advertise a movie to be really scary and life threatening a lot of crap when it's about freaking global warming. See, they even advertise on TV this is his first rated R movie. So I'm, I'm starting to think maybe this is a really good movie. I mean, he stepped up a little. He went from, you know, PG-13 to rated R. Maybe, maybe it's going to be a good movie, but nope, not at all. And, I, and the funny thing is, as soon as they brought in the plant expert to tell them that how plants can, you know, release chemicals in the air that can cause people to do some crazy things, you know, I should have known this is going to be a global warming thing, but I uh, kept watching it, kind of had to spend my money for mine to finish it. Other than that, it was, it, it was bad, but in a good way. It, it did, there were some good essential moments when I wanted to know what was really going on. The beginning really had me going after the train stop in the middle of nowhere, and, you know, the guy said, we have lots of time everyone. That, that was good suspense. I really liked it, but it was on the movie when you have all, you know, people in the middle of nowhere dying with these you know, trees going, you know, blowing wind at you, and all this grass killing you. It, it lost its touch after a while. The ending, I didn't get. So how did, I don't get how those three people live. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I, maybe I was just falling asleep or something. If you guys can inform me, please, because I was really lost. But other than that, it was a pretty good movie. Uh, I wouldn't say renting it or buying it, nonetheless, unless you're a Midnight fan and you liked it. But, uh, if you guys are still wanting to see it, go ahead. It's, it's, an okay, it's a good movie, but in a bad way. So, I've warned you. Probably some other people warned you about this movie, how disappointing it was to a lot of fans. But, eh, can't complain. It was pretty good for the most part. Um, just, if you're going to say anything about global warming, stay to our faces and not do a movie about death and killing and all that crap. Okay? That's all I really have to say tonight at 7. 52 this evening, and uh, I'll be making another video sometime soon, hopefully by tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, one of those days, okay? You guys stay tuned to me, subscribe if you guys really like me, I know I'm not the best YouTube video maker, but uh, hopefully I get better, so if you guys still want to see what I can do, subscribe right now. I'm serious, right now, just click on that button right, right there, come on. Okay, I'll, I'll stop pulling you right. You guys have a nice night, okay? This is Nathan Game 12345 and out.